Washington Governor Jay Inslee signed into law uh, a ban on the sale of semi-automatic rifles. It's now the 10th state to have such a ban in place. Joining us now live from Seattle, Fox 13 Seattle reporter Matthew Smith with the latest on this. Uh, Matthew, good to see you. All right, what was Governor Inslee's message today? Uh, because I believe the state legislature and him have been trying to do this for some time. Yeah, seven years uh, to be exact. Uh, really, that stems back to a school-involved shooting, a, a student actually shooting up a house party back in 2016. So every legislative session since then, they've tried to get this specific bill passed. It finally made it through, and his message was actually directly the NRA. He said point blank, we are not afraid of you. Uh, pretty aggressive words towards the NRA. And we're going to hear from the NRA in a story that we put together in just a second. But really, you can see that there was a big shift in those seven years. Obviously, it took them a long time to pass this legislation. But by this time, when we went out there to cover this story today, there was only a handful of protesters there against the bills. Planned Parenthood kills more babies than guns do. Loud, but small in number. Today, protesters held signs telling Inslee it's time to resign. Chance. Provocative, but inside. All you heard were cheers. The closed event burgeoning with shades of red and orange, colors meant to draw attention to gun violence. The most attention coming for that assault weapon ban. Now, the bill doesn't prohibit ownership of a military-style weapon, but new sales would be. The law blocks the purchase of more than 50 gun models, including AR-15s and similar rifles, with exceptions for both police and military. It's a bill that legislators pushed for for seven years. Wow, today's the day. <laughs> See if I make it through this speech. There was emotion, especially for those with ties to deadly shootings. I cried a little bit earlier. <laughs> I might cry again. Robert Shentrip moved to Seattle after the massacre in Parkland, Florida. He lost his sister, one of 17 people to die that day. The worst day of my life was the day my sister was killed. And it is, it is a, a deep, searing pain that is something that doesn't go away. But amid that pain, hope. Putting pen to paper, those in this room say this legislation offers that hope. Starting today. I'm happy to say that today. And while that applause continued to grow, there's a reality. There are people outside of this room. They are for themselves and their pocketbooks. And not just these protesters. The NRA telling me they'll, quote, be making an announcement shortly on our fight to challenge this unconstitutional ban. Now, asked about the NRA and frustration of gun owners, Governor Inslee quite literally tightened his tie and gave a stern reaction to those against today's legislation. There is no reason on this green earth that anybody needs a weapon of war that is designed for only one purpose, and that is to shoot and kill and maim mass numbers of people in seconds. No, we should point out that there will be legal challenges, but this also isn't the only legislation that was signed today. You may have noticed, I said this was maybe the one getting the most attention. There was also a bill signed that creates a 10-day waiting period for anybody buying a gun. The legislator telling me they're doing that to not only prevent shootings, but also prevent suicides. Another bill would actually hold gun manufacturers more accountable depending on how they're advertising those weapons, especially if they're advertising to adolescents. All right there, Matthew Smith live in Seattle uh, with the latest uh, on this pretty big piece of gun legislation there in Washington state. And Matthew, you mentioned uh, it looks like some of these gun rights activists are kind of, you know, brewing for a legal fight over this piece of legislation specifically, right? Yeah, so this is just the beginning. And everyone in that room, uh, they understand that, right? I've been talking to people that have actually been selling these guns for years. Just last week, we were at a gun shop and we were hearing from an owner who was selling, rapidly selling. And it's something we've seen all around the country whenever these bills are floated, people actually rush in to buy guns. Because again, this legislation doesn't remove guns from the hands of owners. So a lot of people went out and they started snatching up guns as quickly as they could just in case this piece of legislation would be signed. 
talking to that gun shop owner, he told me that he doesn't only expect a lawsuit, he expects multiple lawsuits, as in from different angles and from different people. It's okay. not just the NRA, there's Second Amendment groups, there's gun shop owners. So this is the type of law that could be picked apart from lots of people. But the Attorney General has been one of the people that's been fighting for this too, and he admitted that he's gearing up for this fight. When he signed this legislation today, when the governor signed the legislation, the AG said that he has a good record going up against the NRA, basically saying he's expecting those lawsuits to come quickly. All right, uh, we'll follow it alongside you. Matthew Smith there live in Seattle. Matt, thanks.